What is up guys, welcome back to yet another brand new Major Ben video and in this video today I want to talk a little bit about Xbox and where this is going in the future because things are a mess at the moment, obviously we've got a big thing coming up on this Thursday uh, but I want to have a talk about that but I just want to say quickly is the reason I've been gone for like literally a month is because I had my wisdom tooth removed, I had a ton of infections after which sucked not to do with me not cleaning my mouth properly, it was just a case of that's what happens sometimes when you have a wisdom tooth removed and then I got this thing called dry socket which sucked it was the most painful thing you could literally see my jawbone looking down in the in the place where the, the tooth was removed so i've been in agony for literally a month on this just over and it's been hell so that's why i've been gone i haven't been able to talk properly it's been it's been a disaster but anyway i'm back now for good and i want to make my first video today and get back into things um and just talk to you guys about about the future of xbox right now because obviously we've got a lot of xbox content on the channel i also have a lot of playstation content on the channel i'm not a fanboy of either i love both systems i have both both. There's a Series X there and there's a PS5 here and my Switch is over the other side of the room. Um, but I like all systems. But what it seems like is going on at the moment is things are going to be changing in the gaming industry drastically over the coming years uh, and Xbox seems to be the one taking those changes and uh, well it's been very leaked recently where a lot of games are going to be coming to PlayStation so a lot of Xbox exclusives are going to be coming to PlayStation. This original rumor started off with the likes of Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves. Now, Sea of Thieves makes sense to me because it's it's an online game. The more players playing it, it keeps the game alive for longer. It's better for all people playing that game. So that makes sense. Hi-Fi Rush, I was a little bit disappointed with because I was like, well, this is actually one of the first good exclusives that Xbox has actually had in a long time. It's a new IP, and now they're just giving it to another platform, which seems sad because personally, from my point of view, before people start accusing me of oh well why don't you why do you hate why do you like exclusives you should want everything everywhere well I just enjoy buying the launch consoles when they come out. I love going to get my Series X and PS5 and, and just looking forward to both systems coming. So I like buying two. I can afford it. I'm luckily enough in a position where I can. So it doesn't bother me. I like buying two. I have a PC as well as, I, as I've said before but I personally enjoy just buying both consoles at launch. It's something I've always liked doing in, in, you know, choosing which one I'm going to spend my time with that generation based on features, the quality of the, the games that are coming up. But now there's kind of, if that's the case going forward, where a lot of games could be coming to just PlayStation even after a few months, for example, or a year, then you kind of don't need to necessarily buy both platforms. I'm a big physical collector on the PlayStation 5. I enjoy physical games. So if they're going to do a physical release of Hi-Fi Rush on PS5, I'm 100% picking that up. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to that aspect, but I will be sad if there's no next-gen Xbox. But the rumors have kind of spiraled more and more since the Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves rumor and kind of went to talking about Gears of War coming to PlayStation, Halo, Forza, all the games, the whole list of stuff. We are unsure at the moment about what is true in that sector, but that's what's going to be cleared up on the event, or hopefully is going to be cleared up the event on Thursday. So that's the 15th of February. Phil Spencer is doing a podcast, at least from in the UK, it's 8 p.m. Um, he's going to be doing a podcast on the Xbox uh, YouTube channel, talking about the future of Xbox with various other, other you know, important people at Xbox. And I think they're genuinely going to announce, I think they're going to say that they are going to be bringing certain games. I think maybe they're going to say for now that no things like Halo and Gears aren't going to, but I think they're going to just reiterate case by case basis, which they have said before. And I personally think we are going to see a change in the landscape of games coming to other platforms more and more. And Xbox seems to want to do that. From their point of view, you have to look at it. They're going to make more money being a publisher, probably. I think they'll still do a console, but I think it will be a case of, well, yeah, you're going to get, obviously, Xbox games. You're going to have Game Pass. That's your big perk. Uh, and I think that they're going to just release the games and you get general games on Xbox, but they're going to come to PlayStation as well. So less people are going to want to invest in the Xbox ecosystem. And I've already seen people say they don't want to carry on investing in the Xbox ecosystem because if there is no next-gen console after this one, what's happening to all their purchases? They've lost all their thousands that they've spent on games buying digitally on the Xbox store 
are they just going to lose all that if there's not another console? And this is one of the other reasons I've started collecting a bit more on PlayStation buying discs. I know discs still require download sometimes, but at least you have something. It's a key. It's something you have and you feel like you've got a value in it because you can go to CEX in the UK or, or game and sell, well actually game not much longer, but CEX is their prime thing. You can go and sell your games back and you feel like you've not just wasted money on something if you do buy a physical copy. So I'm investing in that and also it means if stores shut down or whatever I can still play those games and it's still just nice to have a physical collection so I've actually gone the other route a little bit more and I'm buying more games on PlayStation because I can get those physical copies they're just they're more available on PlayStation than they are on Xbox there's a lot of games that don't have physicals on Xbox because they're already trying to cut that down and what it seems like with the new Xbox this like refresh it's not a Series X like pro it's just a refresh where they're going to get rid of the disc drive which is a real shame and it's going to kill the the whole my hair's a mess sorry guys it's going to kill the whole uh the whole physical industry even more with that but I don't know. I'm very disappointed. I'm very interested to see what happens on Thursday and what they're going to announce. I think they could announce this mid-gen refresh, uh, not pro model, but just a, you know, a digital S series X kind of thing. I think they may do that at this event. And, um, just clarify and hopefully clear up but you got to bear in mind i would not get over excited for this event and go in expecting oh nothing's coming to playstation this is all rumors like when this is not happening and we're very invested in the xbox console like i i I can see some of those words being said, but I, I wouldn't necessarily believe what you're hearing from these people. They are not your friends, both sides, PlayStation and Xbox. You have to remember, none of the people at those companies are your friends. They are out to make money and make money for that company only, not for, not for us. They don't care about the consumer. As long as we're buying their products, they are happy. So, you know, that's, well, we don't even need to buy an Xbox apparently anymore. They're, they're happy with that as well. You just buy their games on whatever platform and they'll make more money. So they don't care about you. They don't care that you've got thousands of pounds invested in an Xbox ecosystem. They're happily going to scrap that and you're not going to, you're not going to have anything you can say about it to change their mind. You're still going to go and buy another system like a PC and buy their games anyway. You're not going to stop playing Gears, you know, when Gears, uh, the next Gears game comes out and if there's no Xbox, you're probably going to play on PC or PS5 anyway. So you're still going to be their customer no matter what. You're not going to boycott every game they've ever made because you're just not, it's not realistic. So, you know, there is other options. You can go out and buy a PlayStation if you feel more comfortable doing that. Now you can stay on Xbox. I still think there's going to be some sort of an ecosystem, but I do think it's dying. I do think they're going to go more of the cloud streaming route. I think that's their push. They want to be the first ones to do that properly. And, um, PlayStation, I think, needs the kind of exclusive market a little bit more. I know they're bringing games to PC, but I just never think we'll see PlayStation bring games to Xbox because I just don't think that's... I don't think that's in their cards. They don't need to. They make money off of their systems, uh, unlike Xbox, who take a loss on a lot of their systems. Uh, PlayStation you know, don't do the whole Game Pass day and date thing. They charge you £70 for a game, which sucks as a consumer, but in the end of the day... Uh, Clearly, Game Pass isn't working if Microsoft are thinking about changing that strategy as well, but we'll have to wait. That's all I want to say. What do you guys feel down in the comments? Because I do feel betrayed by Xbox and the fact that Phil Spencer did say to everybody that this is about bringing great exclusive games to platforms where Game Pass exists. That was Phil Spencer's exact quotation. Game Pass does not exist on PS5, so if he does bring these games to PS5, he's outright lied to you, which proves my point. They are not your friends. They're not in it to make you happy. They're in it to make money for Microsoft. That's all there is. Um, and even recently, we've seen things about like the whole Xbox logo going and it just being called Microsoft Gaming, which is even stranger. So who knows what the future is going to hold. It's very, very interesting. I'm excited to see what happens on Thursday. I'm going to be watching it and uh, yeah, we'll have a talk about it and a catch up. But for now, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in future ones. Bye-bye. <laughs>